Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. The question I see more and more often, is Filament serious enough to handle bigger amount of data? And here's an example on Twitter, someone is asking me to make a video with million rows in Filament, for example, based on the official demo, and let's see whether it is capable to handle it or not. And I did exactly that. So here's the official Filament demo on demo.filamentphp.com, and it has some orders, products, and customers, and works pretty smoothly and fast. Now, what if we replace thousand orders with a million orders? In this video, I will compare the performance, and we will see where filament may or may not be slower with big amount of data. So in the database, I've seeded around a million records in the shop orders table. I will also put the link to the dumped SQL file so you can play around yourself. So in the description below, there will be a link to my Google Drive for the export of that database. And let's try. So locally, if I browse around, click around products, then customers, then posts, then orders back, do you notice a little bit of slowness? And to not compare apples to oranges, I don't compare with Filament PHP on their server. I did the same thing on my local, so separate domain small.test with the same amount of data as they have on production server, so it is much faster, just visually. Compare again, if I click customers, there's kind of a lag of half a second or so. Let's take a look at the network tab. So what large amount of data we have products and total finishes 1.2 seconds, customers almost a second here, then posts second point oh nine and orders the biggest thing is second point 49, actually it's two seconds. And in a minute I will show you why step by step. For now we're just benchmarking. And if we compare that to a smaller amount of data, again open network tab, click orders, for example, and we have 800 milliseconds, customers 500 milliseconds, products 500 milliseconds. So the difference is pretty significant. And the only difference between those two panels is the amount of data in the database. So the reason for the slowness is actually database queries. So the question then becomes how Filament launches Eloquent and SQL queries, and is it optimized enough? For that, I've installed Laravel debug bar and we'll see the actual queries. I will zoom that in a bit. And if we go to the orders, let's actually relaunch that again. Here we have these queries. So date format group, which is these on top. But for example, if I click new, here's the database query, shop orders were status new. So these queries are pretty fast. The queries that show the table. So limit 10, then eager loading. So this is not even milliseconds. So the table itself is pretty fast. What isn't fast is two things on this page, the averages, the widgets, the stats, and underneath we have summaries. So those are launching SQL aggregation queries and by definition they are slower just on SQL level. So it's not about filament or even eloquent. And while looking at debug bar, important thing in Livewire projects or in Ajax projects in general, there are different requests happening. So Laravel debug bar is separating them. So that third update Ajax is just for those order stats, which takes 800 milliseconds. But the original request with orders table, this is a separate, which takes 1.1 seconds. And again, if we open the network tab and let's refresh actually, and that's what happens with two seconds. So out of those two seconds, one second is these on top and another one point something seconds is the table with summarizers. So now if we remove the order stats, for example, in the get widgets of the filament resource, let's comment that out. Let's refresh and see what happens. First, we have only two requests, so we don't have the third request at all because those widgets are called later than the page, than the table. And then the total request time is 1.61 seconds instead of 2.5. So we just removed a big query. Also, if we remove summarizers, for example, so here in the table, we can remove the summarize here. Let's comment that out in the total price and also summarize here for shipping price. Also, let's remove that and let's refresh the page. We refresh and now it is 1.44 seconds. Not that much faster to be honest, but the main request happens in less of a second. It still has pretty significant queries. So for example, 265 milliseconds is done by that 
new filter but for example if we click the orders which will be all instead of new what happens then it should be pretty significantly faster not that much actually so without filtering by status it takes 201 milliseconds but actually as you can see we're now just disabling and enabling filament features but what makes the page slower is not filament it's eloquent and sql queries so the optimizations should happen not on filament level but on database structure and sql level with indexes with proper database structure choosing the right column types and stuff like that filament is kind of just a layer on top visual ui that calls those queries side note i'm testing this thing on my local macbook pro with m3 processor so imagine these queries happening on some default digital ocean cheap droplet I'm actually planning to do a separate video just on that, testing the benchmarks, and I will publish that on my other Laravel daily channel, so don't forget to subscribe to that. And another side note, I'm using Laravel debug bar here, but maybe it's more beneficial and convenient to use something like Laravel telescope, clockwork, spotty ray, or other tools for SQL debugging, or Laravel pulse, for example. I'm also planning a separate video on comparing those tools again on Laravel daily, so subscribe to that. Now, I've just said that the performance issues are about Eloquent and SQL and not about Filament. Not always. Let me show you one thing I've discovered about Filament which makes it slower. So we've been looking at orders page, but if we browse around the products or customers, it is still slow, although we loaded the data only for the orders table. And the thing that makes all pages slower is this batch for the orders count. So in the same order resource file, we have get navigation badge and this count for status new. And that query is around 200 milliseconds by default, as I've shown you previously with another example, but this is not the worst part. Let's take a look at the debug bar, for example, load posts, which are totally irrelevant to orders or shop even at all. And in Laravel debug bar, let's take a look at the first post request. And in the queries down below, we can see count as aggregate to times so the same eloquent query for get navigation badge for some reason is launched twice so we have 280 milliseconds and then again around 200 milliseconds for the same number to be shown as a badge on a page which is totally irrelevant to the orders at all so my first advice probably is be careful to show any badge or any calculations like that globally in the menu because it may be slower and also with filament i advise you to double check the queries anyway with debug bar or whatever tool because you may find out that something is loaded twice for example or something something is not ideally performant for that specific feature. So in this case, I've dug deeper and actually opened official issue on the official filament GitHub. Maybe by the time this video airs, that issue will be fixed. I made kind of a source dive and located the problem, but I wasn't able to actually fix the issue. I'm not that deep in filament internals. So I've raised the issue and quoted someone else with the same problem, flagging it earlier. And the thing is that there is navigation manager, which is for some reason called twice. Although there is a check of is navigation mounted or not, but for some reason, in my case, in default filament demo, that condition didn't work. So that's why the whole navigation is loaded twice, including that SQL query. And finally, of course, you should optimize the things on the database level, which is kind of outside of topic of this video and this channel at all, because this channel is about filament. So I wanted to show you just how performant it is, but generally you should optimize the queries with deleted ad, maybe indexing or changing the enum search to something like foreign keys or integers. And I'm planning to shoot a few videos just about that on my Laravel daily channel, comparing the enum versus integers and foreign keys and stuff like that. So again, subscribe to the channel where I will focus more on eloquent and SQL performance. And also on my Laravel daily com, I have a few courses about specifically that eloquent performance. So if we search for performance, there is a course about better eloquent performance for optimization. Also, there's a course about structuring the databases in Laravel, about relationships and foreign keys and stuff like that, how to structure that. I'm actually in process of updating that course in general for newest Laravel versions, but under the hood database structure is 
more or less the same logic and also there's a course about eloquent expert level if you want to understand a bit more what is happening under the hood of filament syntax i will link all those courses in the description below what do you think about my mini research have you ever encountered issues with filament performance or bigger amount of data tell me about your cases and how did you solve them if you solved them and let's discuss in the comments below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos